Hello everyone. I was just reading a letter from a, an old classmate. I'm sure you have written or received letters before. It is important to know how to write a letter properly. And of course, in this IT age, receiving and sending emails have become equally important. So in this lesson, we are going to learn how to write letters and emails. Let's start by looking at the correct format of writing a formal letter. A formal or official letter is one we would write to a government department, to a company, or an organization. For such a letter, we must include the following points. Number one, name and address of the sender, that is the person who is writing the letter. Number two, name and address of the recipient, that is the person who is receiving the letter. Number three, the date. Number four, the salutation. And, and number five, the title. The name and address of the sender must be at the top left-hand corner. Below that will be the date the letter is being written. And below that, we write the recipient's name or position, such as the manager or the ma managing director. This will be followed by the recipient's address. Then we write the salutation, Dear Sir or Dear Madam, or the name of the person, Dear Mr. Tan. And below that comes the title, which is the subject that we want to talk about in the letter. For example, permission to visit the National Archives. And then we go on to write the contents of the letter. At the end of it, we sign off with yours faithfully or yours sincerely, followed by our name and signature. This is written on the left-hand corner. Now let's look at the format of writing an informal letter or a non-official letter. These are letters we would normally write to our family or friends. First, the address is written on the top right-hand corner. Below that, we write the date and then comes the salutation. But this is written on the left-hand corner. For example, Dear Mom or Dear Zarina. After that, we write the contents of what we want to say in the letter. Finally, we sign off with yours truly or your sister and our name and signature. This is written on the right-hand corner. Now, we shall see how an email should be written. Formal emails are written in the same way we write formal letters. All you need to do is just follow the letter style that we learned earlier in this lesson. Informal emails are also like informal letters written to family and friends. But in such emails, we don't write our address at the top of the page. We just start straight away with a salutation such as, Hi Dad, or Hello Ravi, and then we go on and write our message. After that, we can sign off with yours, or best regards, or regards followed by our name on the left-hand corner. Finally, we could include our address and contact number below our name if we want to. Here is a sample of a complete formal letter. Let's go through it together. As you can see, the sender's full name and address are written on the top left-hand corner, Hassan Ahmad followed by his address. Below that, he writes the date. And below the date is the name and address of the person receiving the letter, which in this case is the manager, good food restaurant, followed by the address. Then he writes the salutation, Dear Sir, followed by the title, Application for the Post of Waiter. After that comes the contents of the letter. Hassan mentions where he saw the advertisement, followed by his age and what he is doing now. Then he talks about his reason for writing the letter, which is to apply for the post of waiter. And finally, he says he is ready for an interview at any time. He finishes his letter with a thank you, followed by yours truly. And he signs off with his name and signature. I hope that has given you a good idea of how a formal letter should look. And that's all for this lesson. Goodbye.